so as you can tell from the little opening sequence i have a ton of a5 binders um i just counted them and i forgot i think it's 16 in total um and today i want to show you all of my binders like a complete binder end of the year binder tour as a disclaimer, I do not have any big binders anymore. I store some big inclusions in there, but I don't actually use them for anything. So they will not be in this video. Over the course of this year, I have basically put all of my collections into A5 binders. And I don't really know where to start. I think we're gonna start with the smallest one, which is, I have one collect book, which is this one. And then we'll just kinda, go through everything. If I find out how to do that, I'm gonna leave timestamps for each individual collection so you can watch a certain part if you want that. And also I'm gonna do a second version where I'm just gonna flip through without talking, just flipping. And in this version I will be telling you kind of where we're at at this point in time in my collection and what plans I have for the next year. So I think we'll just start, honestly. I'm just gonna move this all away and then we'll just start. And I'm really excited because I watched my last version and my collection was really different. So I am really excited to show you this. First up, we have my little collect book. This is the only one I own and I think this is from Amazon. In this collect book, I have my Beckian cards. As well as my Van Jungle cards. I don't have a ton of these. These are all the cards she currently has, I believe. And if he like releases a new album, I will definitely get those. One of them is from his tour. This one's from his tour. Is it? Actually, no, this one's from his tour, right? <laughs> yeah, and then I have two Woods cards that I actually just like found. <laughs> So I have those here, they're from his tour. And for this binder, I don't really have any plans. If Beckham releases a solo album, I'll get those cards. If Bang Younger releases a solo album, I'll get those cards. And I haven't really decided if I want to start collecting Woods because he has a ton of cards, but I am like playing with that thought. So maybe we'll start that collection in the next year. But yeah, that's, my little collect book. It is pretty full. There are still a few empty pages, but yeah, for now it's doing a really good job and yeah, we can move on to the next binder. Let's start with the first ATS binder. ATS has two binders and the second binder is way too full already, but yeah, I'll, I'll get- I actually already have a new one. I just haven't like set it up yet. So I am still missing older cards for Busan, like these ones, <laughs> but I am doing pretty well with their like newer releases or newest releases. I definitely want to like get the missing cards <laughs> next year, just you know, to like finish that up and maybe get some more pubs to just like fill single spaces. But otherwise, I am really content with my collection. Like I said, I would probably get two more pops here just to fill up the page, but otherwise <laughs> I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I don't want to go too much into like getting pops, but yeah, this is the second binder. As you can tell, it is way too full actually, but yeah, this is from the world onwards. The cards are in there pretty crookedly, but don't mind that, please. <laughs> and it's a little mix. Like, I have some members here, but I also have some members in the back. Kind of just depends on how I was feeling. I am missing some cards for this era, I believe. And then for this, I'm still waiting. I purchased most of these, but I'm still waiting for them to get shipped. So this is still blank. But it's fine, we'll, we'll get those cards <laughs> eventually. This is finished. And then these are a few unique cards. 
as well as Japanese cards. I don't really collect Japanese cards and I don't intend on like fully collecting them, but I thought this was really cute so I decided to get it and no regrets later. I really like this card. So I might get some more in the future, but yeah. These are other member cards. This is a fan made card as well as just some Uno cards that I decided to keep and some other members that I've just kept throughout the areas and these ones because I don't really know what to do with these. <laughs> and then in the very back I have all my non-album cards for them. So these are from their photo book. These are birthday cards. These were tour. Like if you bought merch, you got these. Um, these are season's greetings and DVDs and then this was from the light stick case <laughs> and these were from their Ochi Youth photo book. Yeah, that is all for 80s. Like I said, I just want to complete this collection and keep up with it, but I feel like I did a pretty good job all this year just like keeping up with them, so we'll just continue that next year. Next up we have my BTS collection. I really like these binders. I think they're really really pretty and I like looking at them. I have two binders for this as well and I'm gonna explain what's in which one in a second. The first one is like that and this basically has everything from chapter one. <laughs> It's not complete yet, I am still missing a few cards and I have set up certain spreads to be for OT7, but I still haven't like gotten those cards yet, but yes. So this for example is going to be an OT7 set and I still haven't gotten those. <laughs> Next year I definitely want to work on completing these sets and especially getting the missing Yumi cards. And yeah, otherwise I am pretty much finished I believe with like all of their not super old stuff probably will get two more cards here just to have like a full hobby spread but yeah I think I finally finished this this year which I was really happy about because I finally got this take card and yeah that made me really happy <laughs> and yeah, I think the latest addition in this was this Namjoon card, and I'm still missing this Yoongi. But otherwise, we are finished with chapter one. And then the second binder, this one, is also just like a butterfly, basically has chapter two. <laughs> so I added this little sticker from the Jack in the Box Beavers album. And this has their solo albums, which I'm not finished with, but yeah. I also realized that Hobie only has like three like actual album cards, so I kind of messed up this layout, but I don't know what I will do with that, so yeah. <laughs> and I am still missing a few cards for basically every member besides Tay, I believe. And I still haven't gotten Golden. Otherwise, I have some, it's not really non-album cards since these were from an album, but everything that's not just like a typical album card or like Japanese releases, I just keep them in the back like this. The newest one is this Easy Soup card, which I definitely want to get some more of the soup cards. <laughs> I thought that was a really nice show and this is from one of their season's greetings. And yeah, that's all this has still a lot of space and next year I really just want to complete this collection as well since there probably won't be any more releases uh, in 2024. I feel like that's pretty doable to just fill the spaces and yeah, that's all for my BTS collection. Next up we have CIX which I really love this collection. It's small but I really like it. This is one of my only collections where I'm actually like finished. Um, I'm still want to get some more Simpson cards but for BX I'm completely done so that's very nice. I finally got this card. <laughs> Super happy about that. A 
for this collection, I don't really have any specific plans besides just like continuing how I did this year, just like completing everything. And like I said, I probably want to get a few more Simpsons sets. Just, you know, I am finished with this, so might as well collect a few more things. Um, but yeah, since I am all caught up with this, I just will get the newest cards when they come out and otherwise I'm really happy with this collection like I think it's so nice to be finished with something so um yeah really happy about this but there's not a ton to say here because it's a finished collection the plans are to keep that up yes <laughs> my next collection is my Moonbin collection where I have this really pretty moon rabbit binder I saw this and I was like oh this is gonna be perfect for my collection. Um, this collection is not finished. I still have more cards I want to get from him, but it is also pretty complete. Like I have quite a few of the cards that I wanted. And this is one of my collections I have in my like holographic sleeves. I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but I thought that would be like a really nice touch. <laughs> so yes, I initially only collected Moonbin and Sana releases, but I have gone back to get some Astro releases as well. These are some that I'm still missing. I like single cards from those sets. I also have some Sana cards because, you know, it makes sense to keep them here. And these are from his Seasons Greeting calendar I guess and yeah I just keep them here as well and this one solid card because it didn't fit in the other spread but yeah that's all for my Moonbeam collection I really want to get the missing cards for him next year and yeah just keep up with his collection I am kind of dreading this binder because number one it is way too full and number two it's not really up to date because I still haven't been able to find any Juhan cards I don't know why, but this is my Monstax collection, which technically, first of all, the binder is dying. <laughs> That's not good. Um, so this is technically finished up until before Shape of Love, because for Shape of Love, I just have not been able to find the cards, but otherwise it's a pretty complete collection. Like I really have worked on that to complete all of these sets. I was gonna get some more Tankyun cards, but he is really hard to find on Mercari, so I haven't been able to fill out these pages. And this binder is not good quality anymore, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> I don't look in this binder too often since it is pretty much finished. And I haven't been able to get cards for this. <laughs> It is so long, so yeah. I don't really have specific plans. I definitely want to finish Shape of Love um, because I am missing. I don't have any Juhan cards for this and it's not cool. Like, I just haven't been able to find them on Mercari. I've looked everywhere. I've looked on Instagram, on eBay, on Mercari and I have not been able to find like any like decent priced cards. <laughs> so, I pulled these, that's why I have those. But yeah, I definitely want to work on that. This is Reason, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and then I have his solo stuff. I think there's more cards, and I definitely would like to get a few more cards, especially like to fill out these spaces, and maybe these. But I haven't looked for any specific cards that I like, want to get yet, and it's not super high on my priority list because I would prefer to finish group cards first and then move on to the solo cards and then and then we just have some more like non-album cards like this is from a photo book this is mom baby fan kit stuff this one as well this is season screening if I'm not mistaken and these are Japanese releases yes and this is tutakom that is all for my Juan collection. I really want to finish this next year because it's just ridiculous at this point how long I've 
not been able to find these cards i really want to make that a priority to like finish this collection and then it's gonna be like on a bit of a hiatus until juan comes back from the military so yeah i hope that i can finish this before he comes back which should be enough time honestly so yeah that is all for my monstax collection this collection also hasn't seen that much of a progress this year <laughs> i'm gonna be honest um this is my nct binder it just has a little neobong here and a little neobong here it's not finished and it has a lot of holes to be honest um i have made some progress like i have gotten some cards but i definitely need to get some more cards to finish this just you know filling up the spaces but i am pretty happy with the current state i just like i said i do need to finish some of the sets that i've just kind of been holding off on but yes i am collecting also i didn't mention this in most of the binders but um i'm collecting johnny and yuta for this like mostly and then i have some tail and mark cards that i like you know but yeah this is for example from super m that's why i just keep it here i changed this up recently because i don't know how i intended to set this up but this makes more sense so yeah these are in the back now <laughs> i still have not gotten anything for universe or two baddies i don't know if this is two Actually, this is two baddies. I still haven't got anything for Johnny for two baddies. Yeah, I need to work on that. I really do. But I have gotten these from Fact Jack and I really like these cards, so it's all good. <laughs> um, I don't really collect Japanese cards, but sometimes they just were in the albums that I bought or in like sets that I bought, so I just keep them here. And I do really like these two. And then I do have like a tiny section for MCT Dream because I used to collect Jisung and I just like kept his cards and then I got some Chanla cards because I was like, Jisung's so lonely. <laughs> and then these are a few of my Mark cards because, you know, I like collecting Mark as well. And these are from a season screening. I cannot tell you which year though, but yeah. For next year, I really want to just like complete this. I don't really know what the NCT is going to do next year, but it should be possible to like finish at least Johnny's half of the collection because he is easier to collect in my opinion. So I should be able to just like finish that. So I'll probably do that in like March or something where I'm just going to get all of his stuff, finish that collection, like that part of the collection. And then, um, yeah. I really want to just like fill some holes. I'm not too concerned about the older cards because they tend to be pretty expensive, but at least like their newer stuff like that was released last year or this year, like 2022, 2023, I should be able to like just complete that in like one shopping city. <laughs> so I really want to do that just to fill up the pages because this is pretty sad. This, this, this is pretty sad. So yeah. Those are the plans for NCT. I don't plan on collecting Dream anymore. Like I haven't gotten anything for Dream in a long time. And I'm also not too concerned about like whole unit things. And I also really only want to get like actual selfie cards because they had some, where is it? Like these ones, not too concerned about them. Like I have these, but I'm not too concerned about getting anything like this, so. Yeah, that's the plan for NCT. This is probably my biggest collection. This is my biggest collection. Hands down, this is my biggest collection. As a little disclaimer or like a little note, <laughs> because I haven't said that with most of the binders. Um, for BTS, I collect Yungya, Namjoon, and occasionally OT7 sets, and I do want to get all of their solo stuff. For 80s, I collect San, Wuyong, and Mingi. Mingi is rather recent i'd say like i haven't collected him in the past i just kept cards if i had them for cix i collect bx and sent him for monster i collect juhan and occasionally changin for 17 i collect escoobs wanu minghao and vernet i used to collect uji up until hengare 
and then I switched to Wonu, and I am kind of thinking about getting some Dino cards, but we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> These binders are already pretty full. I don't know if I'll get a fourth one in the future. I will probably have to, but yeah. I have decided to put some eras together just to have like a full page because I don't really want to go back and get all of their older stuff. So that's why sometimes the layouts are a little funky. I do want to finish Teenage. I am missing a few cards here, but that's fine. Otherwise, I am pretty content with my current state. I definitely want to finish some other older eras, but they are a lot harder to get. And like I said before, they just have a ton of cards. So <laughs> I definitely want to work on that in the future and finish at least like some of the sets. But yes, that's the current state. This is an Ord, which I am only finished with Vernon, I believe. Yeah. And so I'm missing quite a few cards, but Vernon is complete, which we're really happy about. And I definitely want to just like work on a few of the older collections, you know, just to make some progress there. The second binder is the same one, just without the glitter cover. This is from Hengale the Onward, and this is where I also collected Zi. I did like these sets, and I'm finished with that, so I really like that. <laughs> these are just some miscellaneous. We have my one Wonu card and just some Mingyu cards I pulled. Then we have Semicolon. This is your choice, and I still need to get a lot of these cards. <laughs> yeah. And I will probably get two more of the same flower concept just to fill up the page because I really like this concept. And I pulled this June in my album and was like, I'm gonna keep that, so I want to get two more of that. Then we have Attica, which I'm not finished with, and I honestly don't even know where I am with Attica. Like, I don't know. This is the current version. I'm really confused as well. We have Face the Sun, which I still have quite a few cards to get. This is like the second and out. They have so, so many cards, so I'm not at all caught up. <laughs> I am again keeping some other members that I just thought were really cute. And yeah, I definitely want to make some progress on this collection and just like finish this up. This is the card version, which I'm not really too not about finishing. Then we have, I don't even know what the album is called. Or this album. <laughs> Which I am technically finished with. I only need this one Minko card. So I think that'll be a, like, a pretty easy thing to finish. And then I just have some stickers, some Dino cards, and some of these like longer strips. Oh, it's Sector 17, yes. And yeah, this one, again, is still missing a ton of cards because it has um, Face the Sun and I, I'm not finished with Face the Sun. And for my third binder, this is the most recent one. I have gotten these two cards, which I'm really happy about, <laughs> but um, I'm also still missing quite a few cards for all of this, so yeah. I really want to finish these. I wrote the names, but I don't know what these look like. But I have gotten some cards for this. And I'm really excited to fill these pages up. Then behind this little divider, I have my non-album card. So this is from their magazine. And then we have some in the soup card. I got this big <laughs> set and I just like... It fit perfectly. I actually gave some Quan to my, like a friend of mine, but that fits perfectly. Some Wuzi cards, they're from their season's greeting, I believe, and I just kind of keep them in the back here. And these bigger triangular cards, I also keep in the back here because they don't really fit in the layout. But yeah. For 17, I just really want to make some progress filling up some sets. <laughs> And um, yeah, we are working on that. I have gotten quite a few cards. I just haven't gotten them yet, but I definitely want to make some more progress next year. 
but I feel like I will be able to do that because I did a lot of progress this year so I think I should be able to do that this is my newest binder I still have not decorated it since introducing it but um this is from my txt collection and my txt collection this binder still looks pretty sad but I am working on it I really am so <laughs> I still just have a few cards for each era the plan is to actually kind of collect OT5 that's why I have the six pocket binder but I haven't really gotten that many cards yet <laughs> um I also started a new collection which I will introduce in my next haul but I think I will probably put it in this binder as well because JXT does not have that many pages yet and layout wise a six pocket binder makes sense for that collection so I'll probably move them in here that's all for TXT at the moment. These are for their comeback. I have their cards. They're not here yet, but <laughs> yeah, that's that so far. I will probably put another group in here in January and I need to get new pockets, like new pages because I don't have that many yet. For TXT, I, <laughs> I again, I just want to make some progress. I wanted my wish list to at least be like in half, which is ambitious, but I'm gonna shoot for the stars um because my like wish list is super full and I would like it to be at least in half and like at least get some of their older stuff to have like I want like six pages filled I feel like that's reasonable I want six like sets to be complete <laughs> for next year um I think that's I think that's reasonable actually and um yeah that's my txt collection so far it's still it's still really small okay but i haven't really gotten a ton of stuff because i couldn't find a binder like this and i didn't like having them in my big a4 binder so i was like oh, i don't know what to do and now i have this and now i feel more motivated to like collect them again and like really work on my collection because i know i have a nice space to put them the next two binders which are the last binders i have are a little miscellaneous and not that well organized to be honest we have my skids collection which is not up to date at all and i really need to like work on that because i think i, I haven't gotten anything since oh my accident yeah i really need to work on that but It'll be a really cute collection. Actually, I have gotten a few things. I have finished my Changbin. <laughs> I have finished the Changbin collection, even though Felix is the member I mostly want to collect. But, you know. And then for my Enhyping collection, I'm really torn. I was like, do I just like give it up completely? And then I was like, no. Then I kind of took up my J cards and I'm like, actually, I kind of want to keep them. So they're not in here right now, but I have not sold them and I might put them back in because I'm really undecided <laughs> yet. Um, I have not gotten anything new, but that's why it looks super like weird because I'm really undecided on what to do. If I want to collect them, if I don't want to collect them. I have stopped buying albums for a type in because I was like, I don't want to focus on that collection right now, but I kind of want to keep the ones that I have. <laughs> so I'm really undecided yet and I haven't made a final decision. So this area of my collection is pretty rough. <laughs> And I hope to find some clarity next year to just at least either like make the pages look pretty or like, like do something with it. I just haven't been able to do that yet, but I don't want it to stay like this. <laughs> and I think that's a good goal because that's pretty doable. But yeah, and for skids, I want to at least get the Felix cards <laughs> for like the current era. Like, Again, like last year and this year just you know to be caught up with that and he is more expensive and it's harder to find but I'm sure that I will be able to to do that so yeah this binder is a bit rough but 
we'll work on it. This is a plan for next year. The very last binder is my miscellaneous binder where I just kind of have everything. In this one I especially have collections that are either on hold or just like complete. So Ace, they are not completely finished with military service yet so there hasn't been anything new but we're very happy. I'm actually really happy with how my collection is because it is pretty decent I'd say <laughs> to be honest and I am really excited to see what they're gonna release once they're all back. This is my double B so we have Bobby and Humbin collection. I don't really have specific plans. I do want to get some more Humbin cards because I feel like that's like just like a nice plan. And for Bobby, I don't I actually don't know what his cards for his recent um solo album look like, but I might get those in the future as well. Then we have Hyunbin. These are all the cards he has. Like these are from his solo albums and then these are just from some JBJ albums and that <laughs> I kind of decided I wanted to have some stuff for him so I randomly got a few things that this year. This is for Jinu's heyday. I just have a few cards that came with the album. This is really something I'm gonna work on because I just have these cards. <laughs> and then here is really just like miscellaneous. We have one team just the cards I had. We have some Pentagon, Triple H, uh, more Pentagon. <laughs> My last few Joy cards that I have and a Sunni card. We have some SF9 and <laughs> one people Harmony card that I kept because I really like this card. And some B2B solo cards. And then in the back, I just have my P1 Harmony uh, like light stick set, I guess. For this binder, I have no goals. This binder is doing fine, <laughs> in my opinion. I will get some more um, Hanbin cards in the future, probably. And I am excited to see what Ace will do. But otherwise, there's not really anything I want to like specifically work on. So yeah, th those were all of my binders. I am really excited to see how my collection will change next year and i'll happily bring you guys along i don't really have anything more to say because i think i said a lot about the collections in every individual section but yes i hope you enjoyed my collection video i think it's really interesting to see this compared to like last year and then compared to next year and yes i'll see you in my next video which will be a haul <laughs> And yes, I'll see you then, and I hope you have a wonderful new year, and happy new year everyone! Bye bye!